Alrighty. So I need to, I have some things I need to do. And uh, one of them is, let's get into this ship right here. We're going to, we're going to haul some stuff. And so uh, I want to show you what a good deep space transport looks like. And uh, this is it right here. So this is the impel. And the, the impel here is, um, it is a, a good, uh, um, it, it is the best deep space transport in terms of EHP. There might be something else, you know, that's another reason why you want to use a different one or whatnot. Um, but this is, uh, this is the best one and in this configuration and I don't know what, uh, implants I have in, um, all right. So I have these in right here. Um, and I have, I have multiple different sets of of different uh, implants for different for different things. Um, so for this impel, when uh, when we're just flying normal, you can see here it's got two hundred and twenty three thousand EHP. But these get their bonus from overheating. And so if you overheat all of these, you're at 551,000 DHP. This is the most out of any of the, um, um, out of any of the deep space transports. None of them get close to this. Um, so the, um, uh, now this is affected uh, um, by my uh, implants, and so I am getting uh, a bit more. I think it's in the 490 range without the implants. So I do have a little bit more. And implants, they don't know you have them when they scan you and everything. It doesn't mean that they won't throw enough at you to get you, but. Um, but if you can add another 10% because of implants or whatever, then uh, maybe if uh, somebody's gonna make a gank attempt against you, you have more survivability. They also tend to make sure that they kill your uh, pod nowadays too. And so if your implants are really expensive, then that is uh, a potential risk uh, they don't know what they're going to get, though. I mean, like if they're watching the show here and they're like, oh, we're going to watch Marky Undock. Well, then, you know, maybe it's going to be an issue. But um, otherwise, it'll be fine. And um, so uh, this is my ship of choice right now. It used to be the Akator. And let me show you an Akator fit. I have a couple of different fits for different for different things. But this is, um, this is an Octor fit, 130,000 EHP without it being overloaded. And so, um, you know, the other one is over 200,000. And then if I overload all of these, we're at 327,000. The other one's over 500. So, um, the Impel is the current meta. It used to be the Akator. Um, and then when that changed, well, I changed along with it. And uh, so this, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not flying these too much anymore. I still have them. Um, and I have them for, uh, I have some different fits for them and everything. Uh, like I have a, um, oh, I didn't mean to double click on it and go into it. I just... I meant to actually just show it. Um, I have uh, I have fits which are um, this is designed for 
for tank and being able to rep my tank. And so it's more for like a low sec type, uh, type thing. And then I have, I have, uh, well, that one's actually quite regular. It's my contract mobile ops. It's probably because I have stuff in the cargo. Um, and I, I have a, a mobile workstation that I set up for um, getting um, contracts and stuff, which I don't use too much anymore. So anyway, this is what we're going to fly today. Um What's, what's good is so much HP if you're being webbed and scrammed? Yes. Well, you know, it's, it's about surviving the gank. So to, to avoid the gank, you always use your propulsion trick, um, and it'll get you off to warp in 10 seconds. Although if they really want you, they're going to catch you in that amount of time. So that's just, that's just how it is. All right, I got to take some stuff up to... Um, up to my manufacturing and um oh man that's worth four billion now golly i'm not gonna be hauling all that yeah so i bought down here or maybe just a little bit on the rise yeah so i've made money on this but i saw that the that the market was going to go up on it and so I bought a bunch of it from my manufacturing. Uh, I did not buy four billion worth. It's worth over four billion now, though. So, um, gosh, I forget how much I need up there. Let's see. Ten thousand. How much is that worth? Six hundred and seventy-four million. Okay, that's fine. And then I've got uh, some other stuff here. To, to take up to my manufacturing. Um, looking at what other things I've got here. Anybody want to buy a Marshall Blueprint? I have an extra. It's 126 million worth. Okay, we're gonna take something that's just kind of bulky. Billion worth of pyrite. Exelon. As long as I'm carrying this, see if I was, if I was, uh, I'd take a freighter if I was going to be, um, if I was going to be hauling stuff back, but I'm not. So, all right, let's just put that in. Doesn't really add too much value. So, how much for the Marshall? I don't know. Uh, there's only one, all regions. There's only one for sale. At 10 billion. For you, brain manager, I'd do 9.5. I think there's room on that for profit. All right. We're going to head up to my manufacturing. You're laughing at me because there's no room for profit. I don't know. Don't they go for like 15 billion? No thanks then? I mean, it's legitimate. Um, right. Bob drive active. They cost six to seven billion in materials. Hmm. So what are they selling retail at? Let's look. Maybe I'm off.
Oh, yeah, that is too much then, isn't it? They don't cost six to seven billion in materials, though. I thought they were more like one billion in materials. industry. Yeah, 1.2 billion to build. So, 9.5 billion plus 1.2 is 10.7. They're selling for an 11 and 12. All right. I think I was pretty close. Maybe for you, I'd take 9.4 billion. Give you an extra 100, 100 million in profit. And that's not with any skills applied on the manufacturing there when you look it up in that window. You really going to bed now? Take care, Ham. You hope that Black Friday or Cyber Monday is a 40% or more discount? Yeah, I, I don't think that you'll ever see that. No. I've never seen a discount that high on uh, on Plex or Omega. Don't say it can't happen. I've just never seen one that high. All right, so... We'll go over the uh, um, <clears throat> go over the uh, jump trick because here we are um, nineteen seconds. Hit warp, hit this, turn it off. This is a 10 second cycle. As soon as it turns off, bam, be in warp. Now, there's another little trick that you can add on top. Since they've uh, done some stuff in the last update with abyssal stuff, you can, on a really good roll, get the cycle time down to 7.5 seconds. And so, um, if you can get it down to 7.5 seconds, you could be on warp at 7.5 instead of 10. cloak him up for a second because we're going to leave this guy turning autopilot, autopilot off autopilot disabled. now I'm going to jump into a mar Can you apply enough thrust in 7.5 seconds? So as long as the thrust doesn't go down as a negative on the abyssal roll, um, if you can get the cycle time down at all, it'll work. If the abyssal roll reduces the thrust, well then you can't get that maximum. 
Why am I not running the hardeners uh, on my other ship? Don't need to, there's no threat. And on the freighter here, um, there, there are no hardeners. You can see here there's nothing in the fit. Nothing interactive, at least. Yeah, for the impel, I'm not running them unless I need to. You're not going to land on a threat. The threat's at takeoff on uh, on the deep space transports. So if there's a threat right there, the first thing I do is hit my overheat, and then I would um, try and do um, try and get to warp. Look at that cat! Oh my goodness! Uh, and turn on all my hardeners. requested. I don't use a micro jump on the impel either. I just sit and tank it because the majority of time these days they have a super fast lock uh, and scram that keeps you from getting away anyway. So I don't even worry about it anymore. I just try and withstand it. All right. So here I am. And then let's look at contracts again. And there are these right here, Amar to Renz. Current station, three days to run. That's a good sign. Um, let's look at the, oh, and uh, going there, we're not going through any 0.5 space and everything. So, yeah, um, three days to run them. Hmm. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40. So 140 million to run all of those. Hmm. There we go. Just accepted all of them. And um, so now and take this stuff here, leave it here. And then corporate deliveries. Got all of these here. Let's see, I'm just gonna put them all in here. It's just gonna be him running them. So That'll make me 140 million. I don't know how long it's going to take me to to uh, run them all. And we're going to take a look in them, see what we're running. It's raw ore, 749 million. So, um, not too bad. It, uh, you know, I can't haul two of them, but. They're paying 20 million to take a 20 jumps, and then I and then I come 20 jumps back, 
with uh, with nothing, uh, unless there happens to be stuff in in Ren's going to Amar. Um, then you know maybe. So we'll have to we'll have to see what's there. If there's some stuff coming back, then I'll then I'll backhaul. And even if it doesn't pay very well, as long as it's not going to add to my risk, I'll do it. So anyway, easy. So some money on the side for this guy. And they're all accepted by my corp, which means that um, I'm not, uh, God, all those things. Which means that I'm not going to be, um, Self -drive active. Um, the one listed on it. People would have to look at, at what corp you're, uh, you're involved with. I think this is the only skin I've got for this guy. Yeah, it is. B, doing well. So, now, since I have cargo, I'm not going to be autopiloting. And I will be... I will be instead... Uh, um, manually flying but I'm right here so I can you know see what's see what's going on and everything so it shouldn't be an issue all right continue on with this guy he's also doing a little hauling Flying right along. Space trucker music. Adjust his course through the star gate. A space cowboy with a deadline to make. He's riding high in the cosmic ego. What choke point do I have to fly through? There really isn't a choke point on on uh, my freighter trip here. There's no point five. 
so that doesn't mean there couldn't be trouble, but looks like a pretty easy trip, and I'm not carrying very much. So tight Where the shadows of safety Gank ships roam At the next gate He dodges a fray Outwits the gankers And tells them well played With every new jump He's earning his pay On the starry road Where space truckers pave the way At Gita Station Jeb hangs with friends A new contract comes in His ship loaded how do I avoid gankers? Well, there's a bit like in Udema, I have a scout in there and I have the ability to put up scouts outside of Udema too, see what's going on to have information. Um, you watch for being scanned. If somebody scans you, you probably want to dock up for 10 or 15 minutes. Um, you use cooldowns at checkpoints, or at pinch points. Like for Udema, the, um, system before, or maybe even the system before that, you know, dock up for 10 or 15 minutes. So if anybody did scan you, you're off their list by then. They're on to other targets. May you have no fear in the endless race. Our beloved space trucker. Any update on the new CPA? Yeah, so we'll have it we'll have it built next week. Cool. How about another trucker song? That's for the question of, did I hire musicians to create this song? I wrote the lyrics and then um, used AI for the instruments and the, and the vocals. So, kind of a combo. we've been scanned so there's a couple ways to know if you've been scanned so if you get scanned You'll see a little ray of light go at you from another ship. If you have target back turned on, you may start hearing your targeting because they have to target you to scan you. So there are some silent targeting abilities where you wouldn't see it. And then also you sometimes hear a... It's like a... A click. Like kind of a click done with your tongue. 
With tales of risk and reward so grand in the holer's gambit we take our stand. For every hole through dark and light in the holer's gambit we chase the night. I turned it down twice already. <laughs> Is it still too loud? Turn it down a little bit more. The other way to know if you're being scanned is if you're going through Udema, you're being scanned. Just assume you're, you're scanned before you get there. And then um, also you can add to your contact list, safety, um, cushion, a um, few others that are common ganker groups. And then you'll know when they're present and you need to take more care. All right. Oh, shit. I forgot. Is this guy got problems with... Oh, man. Well, no, they're white to me. So I guess I'm not going to have problems. I forgot to check his status with... Um, Drive active. With... Let's see here. Interactions. And... So I'm neutral to... Both, both Triglov and Edencom. Okay, well, so I can withstand a attack from Triglov or Edencom with one of these ships, but I'd end up having to go get repairs after that because it will put me uh, well into my armor. But uh, I can withstand attack with this ship. So, um, so and uh, Vodarn. So, thank you so much. 27 months. How about uh, 540 gold to everybody here in your honor? And then let's see what uh, Dolly is thinking that your Twitch avatar might be looking like today. You haven't played in years. You have six counts, three characters, recreated a few days after Eve. Went retail back in 2003. Woo -wee. Old. Marketune has max seller skills, but uh, used to build T1 equipment. Yeah, well, you know, you've got, uh, sounds like you've got some good characters if you ever come back. Start playing again, so. Yeah, Zero with Triglov will get me attacked. That's what I was thinking. Um, we'll see if there's any Triglov along the way. Like I said, as long as they don't scram me, I'll be okay. Um, I don't think they scram in high sec anymore. I think I think they removed that. And speaking of cushion, your song about cushion. I actually wrote this about him in his catalysts. Attention, hauler capsuleers. Your free flight through Udama is over. We are assuming control for the greater good. Breaking right. news. Kujin's special team has resumed shooting ships in Udama. Reports of Catalyst fleets engaging freighters are flooding in from concerned capsuleers. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. All capsuleers are urged to stay in dock and await 
Further instructions. Get another run of this going. It's one of the rare Tech 2 Blueprints originals. Cost me 318 to build it. Sells for 563, takes 30 days. It's 200 million a month. It's not a huge amount, you know? But it's something. As long as I keep it fed. In the lanes of Udama, where the freighters fly, a shadow in the starlight, a glint in his eye. Oh, helps if I start it. Ready for the call. Cusions on the prowl, and he's aiming for them all. Freighters full of riches, shields are burning bright. In a flash, he strikes, turning day into night. The chaos and confusion, the panic and the pain. Cusions here to slay. Gonna make it rain! Cusion brings mass destruction! Catalyst of mass disruption! Cusion brings mass disruption! Catalyst of mass disruption! 545 million. With a grin on his face and his fleet by his side, he watches as the freighters in terror try to hide. Oh. A maestro of the You know why I couldn't carry very much? I put it in the wrong hold when I came out here. Dark of space, he reigns supreme tonight. Knocking on his targets, his blasters start to hum. The freighters Wasn't shield thinking. shatter, their defenses come undone. The wreckage floats in silence, a testament to fear. Cusion's name is whispered, and catalysts appear. Another round trip. I think, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll bring. Um, yeah, I might bring a freighter out next one. So I can haul more. So I can haul a billion or billion and a half in a freighter. In the lanes of Udama, his legend takes I've got enough form. stuff going both ways to do that. Theory. His wrath becomes the norm. Freighters see their end. When his fleet arrives, Cusions dies Here he is. Death. A arc survive? flying gate to gate Cusions. out here. I do not recommend. That violates one of my rules. system is my store in? You mean my manufacturing? Well, I'm not going to tell you for the sole fact that I don't want you manufacturing there. If there's too many people manufacturing in a system, the, the, the index the goes way up and it costs way more to start manufacturing there. And I already pushed it up enough that it makes it not worth it for you to be there. So... You need to find your own low index system. The closer you are to trade hubs, the higher your indexes are going to be. Is Gita where I sell my stuff? Most of it.
Oh, appearing right next to this guy. Yeah, the manufacturing index is going to cost you more tax. And in high sec, you're already behind the gun. Because those who are manufacturing in null sec and low sec have better rates and they tend to be using player run structures which will give better rates even beyond that. So, um, you know, it, uh, it's important, all of that stuff. And that's another thing, I, you know, when you say you didn't know about the index, I believe you, which is why I mentioned it, because most people who are just getting into manufacturing don't know about that. And will it affect, you know, you know, will it have a big effect on your manufacturing? The answer is no, but when you're doing manufacturing, every few percent really counts every few percent of cost. It makes a difference because you have to be, you have to be very thoughtful and or mindful with um, all the actions you take on what their costs are associated with it in order to keep a low enough manufacturing cost so that you can make money when you sell stuff. Which by the way, happens to be like real life. So this is with the new machine when I get together. Um, I do have, um, I do have like eight freighter pilots, so I could actually have. Uh oh, uh oh, could actually have a whole bunch at once. Okay, this is a problem. This right here is a problem. We're just gonna keep going for our warp. They're leaving. They are going someplace else. They are not here for me. That was uh, that was quite a few catalysts too. So that was 20, 25 catalysts, something like that. Yeah. Um. You know, and you gotta, you gotta, if you're gonna do hauling and stuff, you gotta, you gotta be willing to accept the losses. You just have to be. If you get, if you get, you know, all upset about it or whatnot, I mean, you will get ganked. I know that Loru says he's never been ganked. <laughs> if you watched my review of his, uh, indestructible freighter yesterday um the um uh, you know he says he's never been ganked and i know it's gonna happen now you put out a video saying you've never been ganked and it will happen whether i highlight the video or not it's just kind of it's just kind of life so um you know Anyway, um, that that video blew up. I don't know how many people. It's like three or four thousand views since it debuted yesterday. Um, lots of comments on it. 
Lots of people saying they love Loru. Lots of people saying he's he's a bit incorrect in some of his stuff. I say he's a bit incorrect in some of his stuff. Um, I probably have a lot more hauling experience than he does. The the thing though is, is that, um, you know, I I take a really hard line on what the the right ship and the right fit is. I take a very hard line. And, and, um, but other people have different lines. He obviously has different lines and that's okay. If he makes it work, you know, through webbing or through having scouts or however, that's, that's his deal. Um, so, um, but yeah, he, he probably made himself a bit of a target on that one. Um, so, me, I get out here and fly my ships and go, yeah, it happens. <laughs> you know? Because it does. Um, because it does. So, no one is immune. What you have to do is, you have to build into your economics of what you're doing the, uh the loss of ships and cargo, you know, however much that may be. And um, so do I look at like this ship right here and, you know, how much it costs, how much the cargo is worth and everything. And, you know, um, what I figure is, is that after I've flown so many trips with it, like let's say stuff that I would have had to pay for to have done. Okay, this guy right here, he just scanned me. Mm-hmm, he just scanned me. So, that is, that is exactly what I was talking about. Now we're gonna do something here. And because I was just scanned, now I don't have a really high value on this ship. So I don't really think that they're going to target me. But I'm going to do my... Um, I'm going to do what I preach. I'm going to practice what I preach. And that is that I'm going to go dock up for 10 or 15 minutes. And then I will um, continue on. So um, that, is, that is what I preach and it's what I practice. And um, you know, does it take more time? Does it reduce efficiency? Yes, but um, it also is, is going to reduce how often I'm attacked. And um, I have to watch out for it even more when I'm doing the show. When I'm not doing the show, it uh, gank attempts happen less than half as much. When I'm doing the shows, it happens more often. So, and that's because I don't really hide my information or anything. So, uh, I don't use the warp cloak trick on... Uh, on on that ship I I just prepared to tank it so anyway uh, getting back to like the other machine that I'm building uh, I expect to be able to run eight clients all at the same time so I could have eight freighters out out uh, doing stuff or seven and one contract picker so and a contract picker is watching the contracts and we'll pick off the good ones for the corp. So. Anyway, that was the, you could see the beam on that and you could hear it. And I had the, the, the target back. I always keep my target back set to at least one. Just in time solutions, yes. Um, that's more at risk. 
We'll see what my target back is on this guy. Uh, these contracts that I picked, they all have a three-day delivery date. So, it's like, not a problem. Three days equals not a gank. Uh, yeah, auto target back, one target. So if they were using a silent targeter to target me, then I wouldn't know unless I saw the beam. Uh, most of them do not use silent. And so you hear that uh, target back start firing off and it kind of alerts you. And um, so just how I treat it. Yeah, target back. So right here, in flight, auto target back, one target. You can set it all the way up to the max and then, but the problem is, is that if you are in combat or anything, or you're fighting other players or you're fighting rats or whatnot, one target back is okay. What's not okay is to have it fill up your whole thing and you need to target a rat that's got you scrammed. Um, so that's, um, you know, a little different. So, so I just use one. If I want to fill it all up, I'll add an auto-targeter. And then that gives me more, um, more, you know, a couple additional targets as well. Can be a problem if you target your Logi and don't notice? Yes. Don't shoot your Logi ships. Oh, Vodarn. Did we look at this? Oh my god, that looks spectacular. Vodarn. I'm sorry I uh, got kind of sidetracked there. I'll put that up in Discord for you. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. That's what Dolly's thinking your Twitch avatar is looking like right now. All right. Web drive active. Okay, um, I'm going to step away for a moment, and uh, I'm going to run, um, well, if you're watching on YouTube, see you in the next episode.